Well, hello my friends, this is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Once again, I'd like to say thank you for choosing to stop by and spend a few moments with me. Uh, <clears throat> life's pretty mundane here. We're just one day at a time. And you know what? Michelle and I have been talking a considerable amount lately about how expensive things are getting for us. Now, Michelle, we, we know that we have a lot of people that watch us in the U.S. And we know that things are tough for you there. We really do. I'm hoping that you get a break, just like I'm hoping that we get a break soon. And that things start going the other way a little bit. Uh, Michelle does watch quite a few channels in the U.S. And she knows or she sees a lot of grocery hauls, a lot of food prices. And you know what? I know there's a huge difference between the Canadian dollar and the American dollar, but food prices are a lot higher here in Canada than they are in the US. I'm not saying that it isn't hard for you in the US. I'm not saying that at all. But here, at least in this part of the world, things are getting pretty desperate. A lot of people hurting really bad. And you know what? It is affecting us as well. Um, while we're not destitute, and Lord willing, we won't be. But if the Lord is willing that we will be, I guess we're just going to have to roll with that, right? And trust that's what we're required to do. And we will do it, even though we'll fail miserably some days and we'll struggle and as human beings we're prone to whine and complain but we're not supposed to do that so with help from the good Lord himself we will carry on now all of that being said Michelle for reasons uh, logistical reasons for Kaylin She's working a lot every day. And she basically had to pull a double shift yesterday and she had planned on in the afternoon going to do her grocery shopping and was unable to do that. So, Michelle said, tell me what you need, I'll put an order in for you. Um, yeah, so Kaylin is working pretty much every day and she was planning on getting groceries yesterday for herself who couldn't, so Michelle ordered them for her and I picked them up. Now, I'm not really, showing you those but because Michelle had to do an order for Kaylin she thought well um, we might as well pick up a few of the things we need we're trying to plan our food for next week we're trying to change the way that we do make our food because Michelle is having a really tough time and I don't blame her she's having a really tough time eating the same food four or five days in a row so we're trying to make for a couple of days, like Monday and Tuesday, and then Tuesday night, we have to make food for another couple of days. And you know what? It's really hard. Making food seems to consume an awful lot of our time and energy. Maybe it does for everybody, but it's just the way it is. So anyway, yes, she ordered a few things, the cat, is eating a desperate amount of food. I'll show you right now. I mean, we got some and I'll show you that in the haul, but there's a package of these, right, with two portions in it. She's eating two of these a day or four of the individual things. So two every day. She is eating a lot of them. She still seems to be losing some weight. She's losing hair like crazy. Uh, she makes just as much noise as she ever does, or ever did. She still seems to be friendly. She's loving when she chooses to be, but she's always been that way. She spends a pile of time sleeping, and she's losing a lot of hair. So we suspect that eating as much as she does, not gaining any weight, if anything, losing, she looks a little thin, and sleeping as much as she does, maybe, her thyroid medication is not helping her now like it did in the beginning, which saddens us because we know what comes after that, but we're not dealing with that today. So anyway, 
I have rambled a lot here and I'll show you what we got and another little weird thing or two or one weird thing I'm going to show you and everybody will think I'm crazy but I'm going to do it anyway just to see how it works out. Stay tuned. Okay starting from the right working left right working left over that way that way I'll show you what we got here. We picked up a loaf of bread, in case you were wondering. We eat about a loaf of bread a week, typically. I eat very little of it right now, but sandwiches and whatnot, we do use that, so about a loaf a week. Onions. We do, we use a lot of onions. There'll be at least one onion in every recipe we make. Obviously not baking, but if there's meat involved, there will be a whole onion at the very least. So another bag of onions. Michelle picked up a bag of these chips. Uh, they are my favorites. She got two tubes of these Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, the original size. There's two of them here, right here, the second one. And she got one of these flaky rolls. They're, they're biscuits, like they're really good. And then she got a tube of these grands, of the Crescent Grands. Now she has an idea for these, I believe. There's quite a difference in the size of the tube there. Well, I'm being a pots here. There is quite a difference in the size, as you can see there. Now the original ones are a bit taller, but they're the same, but different. And she got a pizza crust right there. It's a very good product. It's very quick. It's very convenient. She got a red pepper here. It's a pretty nice looking pepper. I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. She got me two of these. Now I like the cherry awfully well. Grape is my favorite from childhood, but they did not add. So we got that. She got one box of these spirals. Um, She's still avoiding dairy as much as possible. But every once in a while, she will eat something. She has lactate pills she takes when she's going to eat something that has dairy in it. And uh, we, we aren't necessarily making this right away. We just like to have one on hand for when she takes an ocean. Now, she also bought this. An Oreo white cake mix. A certain person is having a birthday tomorrow. Turn that light on. A certain person's having a birthday tomorrow, and she asked him what he'd like to have for a cake. And he just said, well, whatever you and whatever Kaylin can and will eat, we'll make that. So she got that, and this is the frosting to go with it. So pretty much after I make this video, I'm going to make that cake. So maybe I'll show you that as well after it comes out of the oven. And it probably won't be frosted till later this evening, so we'll see. But maybe I'll show you the cake itself when it comes out of the oven. We've got a box of these freezer bags because we have been completely out and they have not had these in stock for a month, I know it. Or not while I was there or while we were doing grocery orders. And they're very cost efficient. And they do work well. They don't zipper as nice as some of the more expensive brands. But if you're careful, they do zip. They do work very well. So I asked her to see if she'd get them, and she was able to. Two more dozen large eggs, right? As I've told you repeatedly, repeatedly ad nauseum to where, or ad nauseum to where you're probably sick of hearing it, that we eat a lot of eggs. I eat a lot of eggs. A package of this great value bacon. We uh, enjoy that. It's nice bacon generally, so that's what we buy. Uh, as I said, Michelle has a recipe or two in mind, and this cheese is for one of those recipes, as is this salsa verde. So she got that, and probably this pepper is going into that as well. We got more of this cat food because as I said the cat's eating two of these a day and they snuck in two of these. That's the 
French side right there, I guess, for those of you that speak French, read French, and this is what it is. Whitefish and tuna, all right? Obviously, I gave her the English side without even, like I, I just literally gave her one of these a few minutes ago, and then the beef pate, which she, she really does like, but she gobbled that right up too, so. And we got her this. Michelle thought she'd like to try her on a different food. <coughs> Excuse me, because without getting too graphic, uh, the litter box has been a disaster. And it's probably just because she's eating so much of this soft food. But the vets say, give them the soft food. They get a lot of their moisture from that, like a lot of their water, their liquid. And the hard food is just not that much good for them. And she's missing nine teeth anyway, so. Also, had to have a bag of potatoes. It's a wonderful time of year for potatoes because they're harvesting as we speak. So yeah, we got another bag of those. Now down here, Michelle got this pot for herself this time and two cases. And there's two 24 packs of 500 ml bottles of water. Very convenient for us. Also here is a bottle of distilled water that I use in my CPAP machine. Down there, if you're able to make it out, is a box of her litter. We like to keep a fair amount on hand because I have to change it so often. And here is a bag of Schultz potting soil. I'm going to pot a plant very shortly here today as well and we needed some soil so I'll show you what is going in that in just a few minutes here and also I forgot I had these laying in the fridge I'm going to put them back in the freezer but a bag of corn we used up the last of our corn this is pretty good stuff so she picked up a bag of this as well okay I know this looks funky I'm gonna I'm gonna frost it tomorrow. But for right now, the cake is cool. I wanna put it in the fridge. If I tried to frost it, it would still lift the top. You know how that goes. I don't have a plate that's big enough to lay this cake out flat. So tomorrow, I'll take this covering off it before we go to eat it and I will frost it. When the cake is nice and cold, the frosting will be room temperature and it should come out nice. And I will show you what that looks like too. And I can show you, it's very, very tender. Uh, I suspect it's gonna be a very good cake. So yeah, it's a lot smaller than we originally thought, which is okay, because we don't need to eat a whole large cake. But yeah, that's that right now. I know it's hard to discern with the, with the saran wrap on it, but it's gonna be a good cake. That noise you hear is the air fryer I'm baking some potatoes for supper, so stay tuned. Okay, my friends, I guess we might as well conclude this video now. And I made a little clip of the cake uh, after I had taken it out of the pan and wrapped it up. So I'm not sure even if you've seen that or not. But now I realize that Kaylin came and we cut the cake and we had some cake and I never showed it to you. So I apologize for that. It was just a little cake. So, I mean, uh, you've seen one, you've seen them all maybe. We'll go with that. Anyway, uh, yeah, today is my birthday. And I'm just stating that as a fact. I'm 57 years old. And I don't mind being 57 years old. Uh, would I go back in to a younger year? Not without Michelle and not without knowing what I know today. Wouldn't be interested in doing it again, right? If I couldn't take those experiences and learn from them, and no, wouldn't be interested in that at all. All of that aside, I also mentioned that I would show you the little squash plant 
Now, as we know, this is probably not going to amount to anything. It will definitely be a setback being taken out of the hydroponic planter and put into dirt. But it does have a beautiful root, roots I should say, which I did not damage at all in the process of getting it out of that little uh, thing there. And it's transplanted into some really nice soil. It'll set in that window, the patio door. We get a great exposure there. Plants seem to do really, really well. So that's good. We're just gonna let it grow and see what happens. We all know what squash get like. They put out long vines, but long vines. But anyway, <laughs> we'll just we'll just work with that as as it comes. Um, also, Michelle reminds me that I have talked about our pantry a time or two, and I ask that you be patient with me. Uh, we've been extremely busy. Lots going on. 55 to 60 hours a week in the truck and then all that I have to do here and other things that I won't get into that have been occupying a little time so it's kind of a slow go in there it's a work in progress when I get done or get pretty close to done when I get pretty close to finished I will say I will take you in there and show you right now it's sort of a little state of chaos there as I move things here and there right but I will show you I promise and uh, we'll just go from there so I just want to say once again this is Kevin the homemaker husband if you've watched this far thank you very much know that I appreciate you know that I appreciate those of you who let us know you're praying for us we definitely could use prayer uh, lots to pray about in the state of the world as you all would know uh, yeah, we appreciate those of you that tell us you're praying for us and know that we pray for each and every person collectively. And if you, if you ask, I will pray for you on a personal note, right? So once again, this is Kevin, the homemaker husband saying God bless and bye for now.